What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. We are starting the day off. It's been a while. We're back to the home location here. How are you feeling about safety it? Safety first. <laughs> safety first. Big safety guy. I want to go duck hunting. I like them ears. They look like a little elf right now. Yeah, your ears are kind of they're, they're, <laughs> they're kind of pointed down a little bit. But we are at Walmart. I feel like we have not. We like for the longest time, I feel like we just pretty much went to Walmart every single day. Now uh, we're back, and we're gonna try to do some type of duck hunting challenge. Now I don't know what they're gonna have here. If they're gonna even have any pews, if they're gonna have ammo, if they're gonna have calls, decoys, any type of face duck hunting paint. gear. They might have face paint. Ooh, they're definitely gonna. Have, they they've gotta have face paint. They have to have face paint. I'm assuming they're gonna have face paint. So we're gonna go in here and buy everything we possibly can to go duck hunting into a Walmart. Walmart duck hunting challenge. I'm, I actually would look for a new pew. If they have one, I'm gonna buy it. I have one pump shotgun that I bought at Walmart and it's the cheapest one, but I'd like to get like actually like a nicer one, something that I would enjoy. Something about shooting a pump, I feel like it's just kind of fun. Like it's kind of mixed up, gives a little bit more of a challenge to it. I think I'm more accurate with the pump. You're, Cause you take your time. You take your time on the second and third yeah, shot. Yeah, that's true. Cause you gotta take the time to, to pump, pump the gun, you know? So anyways, we're gonna go in here, probably get kicked out, see what we can find to go duck hunting tomorrow. You guys stay tuned. Big Phil Swift guy, huh? Oh so yeah. Fun. Oh, Pioneer Woman, I love her. You do. Dude, she's a beast. Really? Macy's always watching her, she just chefs it up. She's like a Rachel Ray guy. Rachel, who do you like? Martha Stewart. Oh, you're an OG. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Rachel Ray just, eh. She kills it. The Pioneer Woman's dope, cause she just like, she, she, she kinda it. lives, you know, cause she lives in the country, yeah. her husband's like, right, anyways, this has nothing to do with the video today. We should <laughs> go find so why are we talking I about got that? distracted, sorry. Phil Swift, my homie, was over there, and I went to go say hi, and then all of a sudden, Pioneer Woman was there, but we're gonna see how long we, so we get that. Really? Oh yeah, look at that little guy, only 94 bucks. Man, Walmart's who's, always, almost always got the deal. Who's shooting the duck on that? What's that for? <laughs> there, see, there's our target practice. Right yeah, with there, the with, the, with the bow. Oh, pews. I see a semi-automatic. I'm surprised they have a Isn't semi. You see, the black one. Is yeah, that the two end ones, right? Those yeah. are big boys. Good I kind of want the long though. I know they say they are really long. No, there's another semi. Oh, well, the oh. long one says hold on it, so I assume oh, it's sold. Red. Yeah. The camo semi-automatic is 477. Ooh. That's insanely cheap. Yeah, it is for a semi. Oh, what's the? Is that just shorty? You see the one? The one to the left two, of it. 254 brown. Um, oh my gosh, the thing is so short. You think it's a shorty? Yeah, I mean that's pretty short. I don't know. I feel like it's, it's not. Is it? The, it's the same tight as that end one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I think it's like it's it's short, but it's not. I don't know. Not short as you think. I bet it's a little bit longer than the one we already have. I bet it's like a what? You think like a 26 inch? Because is a 28 normal? I think a 28 normal. 20. So that's a 28. That tall camel one. That it, it is 28. Yeah. So that. I mean, How is that only 147 dollars? Oh, the you have the one that's on hold. I have no clue. You ever seen a shotgun? Unless well, that's a seven. It's, no. No, it's that's definitely a one. Yeah. yeah. 147 dollars wow. okay. shotgun. Well, all right. Let's well, let's see what else they got first. Probably not much. Oh, it's 20 gauge red. Gotcha. No one oh, likes a 20 expensive. gauge. I, all right, folks. We got a little bit of an issue here. So all the pews over there, the only 12 gauges are on hold, meaning that they, they won't sell them to us. The rest of them are 20 gauge. 20 gauge is okay. Problem is finding 20 gauge ammo is not really all that easy. The only 12 gauge that they have in there that is a pump, which is what I want. I don't want a semi. I already have a semi. How's that going? It's, it's heated. No way. I think it radiates your butt. Seriously. That's pretty neat. If you actually had those in the blinds, it would help because you, you nice. could see a little bit better. You'd be a little bit higher. Yeah, anyway, so there's one pump 12 gauge that they have in there. It's on hold. It's identical to the one I already own. So, for the sake of today's video, not having to run to every single Walmart in this state to try to find a pew, we're just gonna go ahead and use the, ex literally, there's only one 12 gauge pump that they have and I already own it. So we're, for the sake of this video being a Walmart challenge, we're just gonna use it. I know I already have it and I'm not, not gonna buy it, I'm sorry. I wanted to come here and buy a nicer pump, but they don't have any available. But the one thing they do have that we could purchase is this. Beer pong? Hey, I'll play I'm it. I'm, a I'm so down. That's a great <laughs> it's idea. It's called Capong. Yeah, it's not beer pong. Oh. Yeah. PG, PG. Oh, Capong. They have all this though, which is, every Everything you need to make jerky. Now, I did just order a dehydrator and a meat slicer off Amazon. These are really cheap though. 50 bucks, 78 bucks. That's really not bad. I'm kind of like, do I waste money and buy these even though I already have them on order? Or what do you think? I mean, you could do double. Like you'd have two. You, you could have both. two. I don't know if I'd need two meat slicers. Probably not. What if we got a grinder and made some burgers? You could, or you, some duck burgers. or you could grind it and then get a jerky gun. Yeah, and then you like squirt, you squirt, squirt it. And you could always oh, do that too. Okay. So I'm trying to figure out. Do I, I mean, at the least I could get a dehydrator. It's only 50 bucks. Getting another meat slicer, I feel like you're not gonna use two you meat slicers. You need a lot of meat to be get two going. Two, I know, that's but two lot. dehydrators is like, that's I feel like nice. that's, if you harvest a bunch. That takes a minute okay, or two. Okay, let's go it. ahead. We're gonna go ahead and buy a dehydrator and just see how it is. We'll let you guys know it's a $50, literally the cheapest dehydrator out there. We're gonna try it. What do we have for this though? I'm trying I to get wanna, drunk. Whiskey pepper, this I, guy. I want teriyaki and no one ever Where's gives teriyaki? me teriyaki? They, they don't, don't got it. it. Hickory's good and mesquite's good. I would say yeah. those are your two. Are you, do you like hickory or mesquite better? I like hickory better. Okay, well then we're going with we're going with hickory. How much does this make? Five pounds? That would be like a good harvest. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's go ahead and just get two. 
Well, how about this? Grab a mesquite. Let's get one. Let's go. get one and one. If we go, yeah. if we just go off tomorrow and just shoot limits on limits, then we're probably gonna want more than one. So go ahead and get dehydrated okay. too. So we can try that. You want to make a hog casing for sausage? I've never, I've actually never made smoked summer sausage like that. That'd be, that'd be kind of cool to make as well. So we're getting this. That's to basically prepare our harvest for tomorrow. They don't have anything though, do they? They don't have decoys. They have, they do have face paint though, right? Yeah. Didn't you? Oh, we gotta get face paint. Get that. Oh god, Five yeah. colors, dude. We're they're never gonna see us. This is actually this is this is this has got to be cheating. This has got to be illegal. Better call the so. DNR. You better get permission on this one. You get all face painted up. The ducks aren't gonna see us. We're getting face paint. Check. What else do we think we can purchase? Rechargeable purpose hand warmers. Ooh, I just actually bought some of these. I've never yeah. I've never tried them. They're just sitting in my garage and do garage. hand warmer things in the garage. Ammunition. We're gonna grab a couple boxes here. They're the only one that I really see that we could use for waterfowl is this. Those are only two and three quarter. They probably sell them. There's a lot of empty. Yeah, they're just out. I don't really want to be shooting two and three quarters either. I mean, my the ammo I shoot isn't anything crazy, so we're probably just gonna we're not gonna buy ammo. I know this is a Walmart challenge, but there's literally no other ammo. It's the same brand. It's the same brand. We use the exact same thing. Okay. What else? Is there anything else? What else is there? Is there they don't like I can't believe they don't have like no decoys. They don't have any no waders. No waders. Cool. There's not what is this Walmart thing? They have waders over on the fishing side. Yeah, fishing waders though. Yeah. Those are gonna suck ween. <laughs> yeah, Those aren't gonna they, keep you very well. your challenge, you do it. Nah, you they know, come on, come on. you know. We'll keep needing socks. Actually, Those are kinda cute. Merino wool. Those kinda feel like oh, they slap. Some good wool. I feel like those might slap. I don't know. Is there, I mean, here's the thing. I'm not buying any apparel. You know why? Because you guys should get Ducks gear. Linked down below. If you guys wanna go check it out. Warm coats, warm vests, thermal hoodies, hats. Look at the beanies, oh, hats, hats. We're not buying apparel. This stuff, it's okay. But if you guys want better stuff, Ducks Waterfowl will be linked down below. If you guys wanna go check it out. We still have some stuff left in stock. What is that? Hot hands? They're camo. I have, they won't see us. Hands. Heaven forbid the ducks see your no hot way hands. they make them camo. Dude, That's they make hilarious. them camo. What do you mean? They're ready to use. Really? That's neat. <laughs> Anyways, Italy link down below. There is some stuff that is sold out, but I would suggest if you guys want anything, I cannot. That is can not. Can't. Guarantee it by Christmas. Can't. It's too far along. The postal service is way behind with COVID going on, and they can't guarantee it. So if you order it from the day that this video goes up and beyond, I'm not guaranteeing it for Christmas, but I'm guaranteeing it you'll get it at some point. And if you guys want to get a discount, you can use promo code Flare and get a discount on Duck stuff. So promo code Flare, link down below if you guys want to go check it out. Anyways, there's my shameless plug for the day. We gotta figure out if there's anything else we could get. I don't, I don't see much unless you're trying to get swole with the Bowflex. Oh heck yeah! Imagine doing that. Oh they got, oh they have nitro pheasant shells. Interesting. I guess I didn't realize they had this is a little pheasant. Section. Yeah, this, here, there you go. Here's your Walmart present section right there. Heck. I don't see anything else. Kind of a bummer, to be 100% honest with you. This, at least we have I the cooking. No, I didn't either, which I'm actually interested. I've never used a dehydrator. I always use a grill or an oven. A dehydrator is going to be new for me. Oh my God. All right, what I said about only buying duck stuff, I take it back. You got to cop that thing. Oh. Hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> That's a duck. They ain't gonna see me. Come nah. Put that on me. I might be Amish. That, oh, put that on him. Guy. He's definitely Amish. Let me see this guy. I got it. I got it. Dude, you I've never There's gonna be so many memes of me right Abe now. Abe Lincoln's his great grandpa. Oh, has to be. He needs to has to be. Buddy buddy looks super Amish. Alright, one more walk through just to make sure there's nothing else we could buy at Walmart. We're trying to do Walmart challenge. I mean we are gonna be using a gun that I did last year purchase at Walmart. Unfortunately we're not able to buy a new one this year because they don't have the one that I wanted. Or they pretty much all their 12 gauges are out of stock. I think that's gonna conclude it, Banjo. That's kinda weak, but at least we got the catch and cook stuff, which oh, I would say that's and face paint. Big face paint guys. If we shoot any docks, I'm giving credit to Always gonna whoever Whoever that guy is. No one knows who that guy is, but I'm giving credit to him if we shoot ducks. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and head out, buy this stuff, and we will see you guys in the morning. Shoo! What is going on, folks? Now you guys can probably see me. Let me walk over into the lighting. Oh, yeah, it's a freezing one out here. We didn't we didn't even bring the dog. Lucy, she was cold the other day. We went and took her hunting, and it was like 40. Like, she was like whining. She didn't want to go retrieve the birds in the water. It's just, she just, she's such a young pup. She's only seven, eight months. Like, she don't have the fat on her that she needs to stay warm and stuff, even with the vest and heaters. She's not about that life. So I wanted to kind of save her a little bit, not make her hate hunting and stuff. So it was um, 15 on my truck thermostat gauge. So that's freaking sick. 15 degrees degrees means the water is not going to be open, which means we're going to have to be breaking ice, which is my least favorite thing in the world to do uh, for hunting. Um, but we made it out, and we're going to go ahead and load everything up. We're going to head to the south blind. We've been hunting out of the north blind. We're going to head to the south blind to start, because that's where we saw most of the birds last time we went hunting. Break some ice, throw some decoys out. We've got two heaters. We're going to need them. We're going to bundle up in all of our ducks' thermal warm gear. I'm even rocking the vest. That's when, <laughs> that's when you know it's cold, is when I'm wearing the vest and the coat. That's You're getting up there in the temps, talking about hypothermia and stuff. So anyways, with that being said, we're going to get everything load up and uh, see you guys out at the marsh. Alrighty folks, now it's dark out. 
we just got done setting everything up. We tried to hurry. We had to break all this ice. You can see our, we made a hole right there. Those are pot of decoys, spinner. All the ducks and geese roosted right there. You can actually still see them. They're still sitting down there. It's kind of hard to see them, but they're probably about, I don't know, a few hundred geese are still sitting over there. But this is where they roosted. So we, we busted the roost, which isn't necessarily ideal, but at least you know that they like this area. So it is going to be hard because everything's frozen except for what they did and what we did. So we're going to be competing with a lot more open water, but we'll see what happens. So we do have face paint though, Banjo. I think that's priority number. Otherwise this ain't going to work. They're just going to see right, right through the blind. So we got to get our face paint on, but we only put out three, six, nine, twelve. 12, one dozen, all, they're all green heads too. Is that good luck? No hens, yeah. it's just a, it's a guy's night. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And then we got, well, 13 including the little spinning, spinning guy, but we did bring two heaters, so we should stay nice and warm. I'm really not that cold because I was just running around, but there's our open hole. It really could be, it could look a little bit better. What do you think? Do you think we should, what do you think about the chunks? Do you think they like chunky ice like that? Yeah, they might, well, just, let's just see what happens. I don't really want to work any harder than I need to. So that where our decoys that are actually looks good. So if we were smart, we'd probably pull our decoys in the icier stuff and let them have the open water. But if they come over here, they, like they can't land anywhere. It's all the whole thing that where we were hunting the other day, everything's ice except for right here and where the birds slept last night. So anyways, I'm going to get inside the blind, get some heaters going, get that face paint on. Oh God, this thing needs some freaking lube banjo. Yeah, I did shoot it last. It was a little stiff. I might have some in my bag. Dude, oh God, how do you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow my shoulder out just trying to pump this sucker. I guarantee I'm prepared. Usually I'm not the type to be prepared, but when it comes to lube, I'm always prepared. Did I not say I was prepared? I think that did for it, not much. This one was a pain to start yesterday. I had to use a lighter and I didn't bring a lighter. So. Oh, hey, here we go. Now we're cooking. We keep we keep getting buzzed. We're trying to get this heater thing going. We still are, we're messing up. They, they keep buzzing. They're not landing because we're not wearing that face paint. So we better get that face paint on, son. Yep. Yep. Goose down. Yep. Oh! Feels splat. All right, we got two teal and a goose. I've got to take my big gun out though, dude. The pattern on this thing. You got him. Pattern on that minigun is non-existent, dude. Yep. Hey, I cheated. I used the big gun. <laughs> I, I was using it to go get that cripple. This That minigun can't shoot with the crap. All right, well, I better go get these birds. I'm going to reload. All right, I'm cheating. I'm already calling right now. I'm cheating. Hey! Get up, boy! Hey! Hey, Junior! Huh? Hey! Hey! Hey, duck! Hey, duck! Huh? Hey, he wasn't moving. I. What am I supposed to do? Listen, guy. Oh, we got a jam. Rip, we got it. Oh, yeah, it's jammed. Boys, I'm up to three teal. Okay, we got jam figured out. Benji, did you find him? Yeah. Hey, what up, G? That's three teal for me. One teal for you and a goose, huh? Really? Honestly, I say just leave them for now. They're for, for anyone that's curious. They're not going anywhere. They're dead. They're literally on ice. Like, there's birds everywhere. I say just get back in. We're just going to keep shooting. No face paint yet, Benji. You better get that on. I know. I like think we'd be killing a lot more birds. Dude, the amount of ducks. Look at these. Unbelievable. I can't believe that teal didn't get up. Yeah. I was moaning and everything. Like, that usually scares everything. All right, what color are you starting with? I'm starting with green. Get some green on there, son. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Looks like you, looks like a dog just took two deuces on your cheeks. Little skid marks right there. You ever water swat a teal on? <laughs> First off, I just realized you, you landed on ice. Yeah. I ice swatted. Hey, that's. I'll take it. All right, we're going with black. Start dark. It's right on the nose. Okay, change fingers. Never use the same finger. No one likes a double dipper. Go to that brown. Hit the side of the nose. You're gonna be using your thumb on the last finger. Yeah, that's fine. All right, green. We're, I'm trying to think where I have left up here. Like right here. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. Are they gonna see me or no? No, they ain't gonna no, see they'll you. never see you. Really? Wow. So far, the old ice hunt's doing it. I just can't believe they landed on ice. Like I feel like that's not super normal. For teal, no mallards, yeah. Mallards, but, yeah. I mean, I usually don't see teal when there's ice, so. No, dude, the amount of ducks. And you clap that goose, big honk, daddy, too. Yeah, one shot. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of mallards around here is like the skies are full right now. Look at this guy. Yeah, let me see. Let me see. I gotta see myself. Why? Why is your lighting better than my camera? Snapchat, you know. Dude, like li literally. When you start filming on. Oh Snapchat. God, rip! I'm not very symmetrical. <laughs> they ain't gonna see you. That's right. The, nature isn't symmetrical though, right? 
true. Isn't that what they say? Yeah, I heard that once in my life before. Have you really? Really? I thought I was. I thought I was speaking truth there. I get that hole over there. All right, now they're not seeing nothing. Well, I got three ducks. I'm halfway to a limit. Lucky they're teal, so you don't count towards my mallard. I can still shoot three more mallards. Andrew's got a goose down and a teal. I'd say it's a pretty good start. The sun ain't even up at all. I don't know how it's gonna be. You know, we literally just busted the roost. So I don't know if they're gonna want to come back or not. But we're that freaking here. Let's get. Let's get the big daddy going here. Oh yeah. Andrew needs a new canister. He's out. I'm warm. You're warm? Yeah. From chasing that tealio? Oh, we're hunting we're hunting in comfort today, boys. Yeah, Lucy would be like when I decided not to take her, I didn't even factor in ice. No. Like what would she do? She'd be pissed at you. She would be so mad that I would make her chase birds through the ice water. I'd feel pretty bad. I'm glad I didn't bring her. Honestly, if I brought her, I would just keep her in here and like just her, you know, just have show her a good time. But I wouldn't make her chase birds. That would not for a pup. A full grown dog. Even for a full grown dog, it's not they probably don't enjoy it that much. Your dog likes ice though. Mm -hmm. Dude, you know what we messed up on though? Should have brought a little cooktop and made some breakfast. Like nothing would be better right now than like frying some bacon. That's the duo, that's the duo by the way, in case you're curious. The old energy drink and chocolate milk. Now you would think it's freezing outside, you can see my breath, you'd want coffee? Nah, energy drink, chocolate milk. Game changer. Just about did it too. Oh, we picked up these birds. They're probably not helping our, there you go, look at that. That's how you do it right there. Innovation. Yeah, it's innovation right there, it's evolution. Let's try to break another hole, so that way it's a little bit bigger for these birds to land in. Can't shoot those, Rick. Well, they look like giant. I was like, these are some big honkers. I heard them and I was like, no, I was like, they don't sound quite right. Some big daddies. There we go. That'd be a little greenhead. You said you wanted to come to hang out with other boys, right? It's a boy's morning. That one was tough. This stick got right on my barrel. Honestly, I just closed both my eyes and shot. I didn't have to shoot. Andrew didn't even have to shoot. Hey, I'm up to four. Better let you start shooting. <laughs> I'm gonna end up getting my limit and be sitting here. Like, this heater's nice, I'll tell you what. Look at my, like, it's cold out here, son. Well, that's number four. That's the old green head mallard. He came in to hang out with the boys. We realized we're using a hen mallard call. There's no hen decoys. I don't know if ducks are smart enough, but he wanted to hang out with the boys today, so. Anyways, that's four for me. Total, how many do you have? Five ducks and- You got one duck? Yeah. Oh, rip, I should probably let you shoot more, sorry. I'm fine. I would have let you shot that one. I don't care. Well, we're still shooting them. We we did kind of come to the realization though that there is a uh, another hole to the north because there's probably like six thousand ducks sitting in it and some geese. There's nothing we can really do about it. So we're just gonna have to kind of pick off the the ones that don't want to hang out with that big group. And I mean we we have like probably one of. I bet there. I guess it would be four open spots in this whole area. One, two, and then probably three. And I bet there's one on the north side. We just don't know it. So my guess is there's four. We have one of the four. I think for like you know out of towners type thing they're coming in from the river, they might see us first and come in otherwise. We basically are fighting like a couple thousand live decoys, which doesn't make it very easy. But anyways, we got some more down. Stay tuned for more. Well, folks. Oh, there's one duck. What do you think he's up to? <coughs> yeah, he said, I'm gonna go join the other 4,000 ducks. All right, dope. It's freaking cold out here, but we do have this. I haven't showed this yet this season. This is a thermal fleece line, thermal neck gator. So you get your duck's beanie on, whether it's this one or the one that Banjo's wearing. Both are freaking warm. Throw this guy on. Literally impossible to be cold. Like, look at this. Look good. Looks warm. I'm freaking steamy in this thing. Keeps you nice and warm. It'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check it out. If you guys are out there hunting, fishing, or doing outdoor things, and it's cold outside, I'm telling you. The gear we got this year, coats, I'm even wearing the vest, the hoodie, the hats, the gators, all that stuff. It'll be linked down below, go check it out. It'll keep you nice and toasty in the blind like we are, even though we got heaters. If we don't have heaters, it would, it would still be pretty cold out here. It's so cold that the hole that we broke is now frozen. So now our decoys are just sitting in ice, which probably doesn't help our cost here. But oh, maybe that sun gets up. If that sun gets up, we can go break it up a little bit more and then maybe it'll stay open then. <coughs> Yeah, Banjo got another one. Let's go out there. Let's just go ahead and break some ice while we're out there. Yeah, look at this. It refroze. Banjo got the old wedge. Nice, <laughs> nice wedge. All right. Well, that's another one. But look at our hole. Freaking frozen. Let's just go ahead and start tr trampling, trampling around. But look at this. is just crazy how cold it is today. Like, it refroze in like 20 minutes. This is just crazy. I didn't realize it was going to be this cold. I'm so glad I didn't bring Lucy, dude. She would be absolutely miserable. And it's the nice thing is our birds are... Really, I mean, really close. You can see Banjo's just right there grabbing that wedge. So it's not like it's far. Lucy's really comes in handy when we have to walk, you know, all the way across that side or if the mud, this mud's not that bad over 
here. It's a little sticky, but anyway, we got another one. That's uh, six. Yeah, six, six ducks and a goose. We'll take it. That's gonna make some nice jerky. I'm pretty excited to use the Walmart, the Walmart jerky kit. It was, um, I think it's, uh, I don't know what brand it was, but we got it at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. So, anyways, we're gonna go walk around try to open this up a little bit i mean even though it's frozen i think the ducks still think that this is open since there's decoys here i mean obviously he didn't really care either so anyway we're gonna go ahead walk this open up get back in the blind with the heater and try to shoot a few more i said we shoot those out by no geese what do you think yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Dude, those are sick. I those wish you could huge. I wish you could hunt them. They're giant. Like they're literally like freaking pterodactyl looking things. They came right in. Hey, if they like it, I would assume the ducks would like it. But uh we see we've been seeing dude the amount like I kinda wanna go drive over there when we're done hunting to just see how many birds get up when we go over there. It's hard to get to is the problem. Yeah. I, we know where they're landing. We've walked it before, but it's a really far walk. You and could it's, army crawl it. It's pretty cold today. That's the only downside. If it wasn't so cold, I'd say, let's just go sit against the bank over there. But, like, I've got a heater on. I'm in a blind. I'm still pretty chilled. Not bad, but just, it's not warm. If you're not in the blind with the heater, it's a little chilly. How's that going? Oh, it feels great on the whole forehead. We, got, we even got hot hands ripping. Right. Tell me that's not Oh, the my God. I might just sit here the rest of the day. Oh, this is the greatest thing ever. I might just, oh my God, it's so freaking warm. I took my neck eater off because I was freaking, I was starting to sweat, things freaking toasty. So I had to breathe just a little bit. Changed out the hats to this guy, the old knitted. We're getting our ass kicked by a bunch of live birds over there. All those honk daddies might do it. No. They said see ya. They said, hey, I'm gonna go join the other 4,000 people. People? Yeah. They're people, huh? To, th to them, they are. You think You think they don't, they, like, we think we're people because we're people. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Like, we think other people are people because we're people. But, like, they probably think the geese are people. So do they think we are animals? Yeah, they're like, look at those animals. The humans. <laughs> they think humans are animals, and they think geese are, are people. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm not oh. high, I swear. <laughs> no, this propane might be getting to me though. Yeah, that might be it. Me. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm gonna call him, you get that? I don't know, I think so. He was pretty high up. That was the old, that was the old green head. I'll call him Skippy, that was a far shot with the old small gun. Shoot, shoot. I got him boys. Oh, that sucked. My feet are killing me. This heist. They don't look that thick, but it is. Beautiful Drake Mallard. I'm done shooting. I'm not limited, but I'm done. Banjo can go shoot and retrieve more birds. I'm done for the day. Kill! Uh, hey! Uh, there you go. Hey, I gave you the warning shot. Goodness, I was like, oh, Yeah, I didn't man. get a warning on the warning shot. That was loud. Ooh. Well, I, I didn't want to have to do what. I didn't shoot that, by the way, just for clarification. I aimed that way. Where did he come from? We just heard him land. I heard him water. splash. Yeah. I didn't hear it, and Andrew goes, Dingus. And I'm like, What? <laughs> I'm like, I was, he's, he's splash, and I look, and Ben's like, Look at this deal I got on Amazon. I'm like, Dingus, there's a bird right here. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to limit out, so I didn't want to shoot it. We jumped up, and he didn't move, so I just decided to go ahead and warning shot it. So I didn't give you a warning on the warning shot. Look at all those ducks. Straight yeah, in front. Look, at, look over there, too. Oh my God. Oh. They got up. Yeah. This might be where he called it. warning shot worked. Hey, did it not, though? <laughs> <laughs> Just take a quick little warning. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty much done shooting. I don't want to shoot any more ducks. Well, that is not a bad one. See, he's really close. You just don't want to retrieve. I just, no, I want to kill, I want to kill at least one more so I can get my limit, but. I don't want to retrieve. Look at it, dude. They just got up like crazy, though. Dude, that was so weird. Like, you can see pretty good. And I was actually watching when it happened. I heard a splash, like, plunk. And I'm like, what just fell in the water? And there's a duck, and he's like, just chilling around. Like, was he even, I guess he was in the little yeah, pocket of water. Just barely in the water. There's hardly any water left. It all refroze again. Hey, we got another one. I'm limited. Those are all teal. I missed completely, and the one that was right here got up and I smoked him. I'm done, boys. That'd be the old limit for me. I feel this crow. Yeah, shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Oh! Oh, you almost caught it! You gotta be kidding me. Really? Crow down. 
<laughs> no way. He just shot that. Dude, you almost caught him too. What? Ew. Banjo. That's a weird looking duck there, guy. Dude, I almost caught that. You almost caught him. Like, if you would have waited a half a second, he would have landed right in the blind. Hey. That's crazy. It ain't a duck, but I'm not eating that. I was going to say he'll eat, but there's no way I'm eating that. <laughs> that thing's nasty. I'm going to mount it. No, we could eat him. Just just mount it like this, you know? You could mount it. Cupped. Or we could, or we could eat him. Turn him into jerky. Can't be that bad, right? All right, crow. I don't know. We might try it. Shoo! All right, folks. I just picked up all the decoys. Pile of birds. Oh, we got one. And a goose. Good and a crow. Good day. Greenheads. We got a widgeon. We got a gaddy. Some teal. A crow. It's going to be a good bunch for some nice Walmart jerky. But it's freaking cold out here. I'll tell you what. This is, this is by far the coldest day we've hunted. I mean, when, when you break a hole in the ice and you have to break it four or five times in the course of two hours, basically over 30 minutes. So we you know it's cold outside. Luckily, our heaters, well, our heaters kind of worked. They kept they kept dying. But anyways, we're going to load everything up. Van just bringing the mule over. Load it up. Head home. Get them clean. We're going to show you guys how we make our jerky. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Look at the harvest boys. That's our gee. This is Banjo's delicious crow. Ew. Yee. Oh, man. That might be alright. But the geese, big, big boobied geese right there. These are ducks, though. Duck harvest. Here's the meat slicer. Okay, folks. So I got this meat slicer off Amazon. They did have one of these at Walmart. We didn't buy them. Like, I already have it. But. This is the Walmart dehydrator. And I have another dehydrator too. So we're actually, tomorrow when we actually cook these, dehydrate them, we're gonna compare the two. I've got like a name brand one off Amazon that was a little more expensive than this one. And the cheapest one, it's like 50 bucks. So we'll see how they do. But I've never used a meat slicer before. I've heard horror stories about, you know, people like walking around looking like that. Like yeah. I, I worked at Subway once, you know, type thing. Like you deserve it because you worked at Subway. Subway sucks. Anyways, so you gotta be careful with this thing. Yeah. You know, you don't mess around. Don't touch the blade. Don't touch the blade. So how this thing works, there's this little tray here. You put your meat right here, press it, and then it turns on. And then you go back and forth, and your meat falls out the back, and we've got like a little tray back there to, to catch it. So let's try it with this. This is a bigger, it's probably one of them Millardos. This is a bigger piece. So do you think it's possible to do, see that ain't gonna work. You're gonna have to do it like that. It, honestly, you should, I feel like you should freeze this. Cause you're gonna end up just squishing slices, yeah. which it'll work. It's just, if this was fro not frozen hard, but like half frozen. Yep. Well, let's try it. Set that right there. Set that there and go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Give her a slice. I would say that's about right. Yeah. What do you think? I like it. You like the thickness? Yeah. That should work pretty good. Better than I thought. So let's go ahead and cut the rest of this up. Boom! Here's our jerky, folks. Look at that. That's not even half of it. Probably gonna get at least two to three times this. This is probably three-fourths of our ducks, not including any geese or the crow. But this is the Walmart. It's not Walmart brand, but we got from Walmart. It's really cheap. So this is the hickory seasoning. So what is it? What is it? So telling? three tablespoons yep, of, for one, uh, of seasoning kay. for one pound of meat. Okay. Well, there's two packets here. Yep. And then the second one's your cure, and that's one level tablespoon. Ooh, that smells good. Teaspoon. That's your seasoning. Ooh, yeah, that's your seasoning. So once cure. The seasoning, this is the seasoning. Yep, yep. You need three, because uh, this is hickory, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Three teaspoons of it. So that's it? Teaspoon? Yeah. Of cure. Oh, oh, over there. Got it. One level two. Okay, yeah, yeah. A little full yeah. flavor? Yeah. Okay. And then. And how much of that? Three. Three teaspoons. Yeah. Not table. Right? No. One, two, three. Boom. Pretty simple. Okay. See how it tastes. And that's for one pound, huh? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go give it one of these. You think that's enough for all this meat? Mm hmm. Doesn't seem like it, but I need a funnel. Boom! All right, it's mixed. I, yeah, that's probably enough. So what you're gonna do here, and you're just gonna spray and pray. Just go ahead and give it a coat. Pretty much make sure every piece has some on it. Because you don't want to go too crazy because you gotta remember you gotta flip these guys. Now if there's some left after you flip them, then you can go crazy and spread the spread the rest of it. But we're gonna go ahead and cover all this. We're gonna flip it, cover it again, make sure all basically all this gets used, and then just mix it all up in a clump and you can put it in a ziploc, you can put it in a bowl and cover it. And then I keep it in the refrigerator. That's probably about half. I keep it in the refrigerator for 24 hours at least, and then we'll dehydrate. So we'll do that tomorrow. So while Banjo's giving it the old flip, I'm gonna keep slicing meat. Boom! She sees some folks. 
So we're going. What do you, do you think we should? I can slice up some goose real. Oh, well, we're out of mesquite. We have to mix up more. Cause I was gonna do like some goose and duck and mesquite and some. Cause like we might be like, oh, the mesquite's better, but that's cause it's goose. Yeah. yeah I mean, or definitely the goose will like one yeah, breast is probably a pound though, right? Was, oh, more, more than that. So I'm worried yeah. we're not gonna have enough. Enough. So why don't why don't we just why don't we just use the rest of that? Yeah. Just mix it up. Yeah. And I'll cut up a goose, and then we'll take this duck plus this goose and use it on mm -hmm. the, the hickory or mesquite. mesquite. Yeah, so this is all seasoned. So take it and sweep it so it picks up all the crumbs basically. Mix it all together, make sure all the pieces are coated and then just shove it in a Ziploc like that. And you could do, I mean, I've done some stuff where you throw like liquid smoke in there, Worcestershire sauce, like you can add to that. That's essentially your cure. You can throw some type of marinade in there if you want to, but this is gonna be our hickory cure. So why don't you go ahead and mix up another for, I'd say another pound, basically the same that you just did. I'll cut up this goose and then we'll put the duck and the goose on this mesquite and then, sorry, hickory and then the other one's gonna be mesquite. <laughs> Boom, there's our meat folks right there. We got mesquite, we got hickory, it's a harvest. And then this is the crow, we kept it separate because we've never actually eaten crow. We're gonna try it as jerky. So hickory, mesquite, goose duck combo. Throw this in the fridge for 24 hours and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Chew. Shoo! That's what you yeah, do. See, wow, he, he got to figure it out. Yeah. That was a good transition. Yeah, like How's it going, folks? The next day, we are ready. We got the marinated uh, duck and goose. Melly, what do you think? You want to bite? Man. That's a. You like hickory? You like hickory or mesquite? Hickory. Hickory's your deal. We got mesquite, hickory, and then crow and crow. So we're in the garage because who knows how bad this is gonna smell? May so kill me. But we've got. This is the Walmart, and this is the bougie one I, I like built. Your bougie one. I'm a fan of this. This guy. is you oh, versus yeah. the guy she tells you not to worry about. Oh, okay, okay you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're actually gonna the good thing is we have both these i think i don't know how much of like let's put hickory on one and mesquite on another that'd probably be the easiest but like it's probably a good thing we have two because i don't think you could do all you definitely couldn't do all on this one no, that one no, maybe no. but probably not you're probably still gonna need both so how's that thing work you start at the bottom probably uh, slap it on there. Right there so you just which one do you want to do on what yeah, I'll just you give need... you a bunch of trays yeah, yeah, yeah tray me up okay i don't think it's gonna matter Dude, oh, i got my blood drawn today i got a boo-boo right here really? how'd that feel Sucked, huh i anyone else hate like what it's a weird to, feeling what they have to dry your blood for there you um, just like prick your finger on no she just freaking how much did you take a couple ounces i didn't look i would have oh. i would have but been like that. I was, she's like, did needles bother you? I'm like, I don't like them. She's like, all right. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go on TikTok. And I sat there and just scrolled and it just, I mean, it hurt. Did you get me. any shots or no? Nah, she you're just, up to date on all those. I had a pee in a cup. That was neat. Really? Filled it over. I had, to, I had to like, I had to like take it. Wait, like, did, did you get some on yourself? No, I didn't. Oh, that's good. But like you're peeing and also I'm like, I gotta, gotta pinch it off, but it stings, right? So you like don't. So wait, like, why does your pee sting? When you pinch it off, it don't sting. I mean, you're telling me you can be midstream. You're telling me you could be midstream and like just, uh, and it don't hurt? I don't have to pinch it off, I just go in the toilet. I know, yeah, dude, I, I, just, I just let mine run. Okay, but I'm peeing in a cup and it starts to splash. <laughs> so I like pinch How it off. How small a cup is it? Dude, I had to go, it was not that small. So then it was like, I'm like, I'm like this and it's just splashing <laughs> over my hand as I'm like putting it on the counter. So I take it and like start pouring it in the toilet to like try to, and then I was like, oh, I pour too much out because you have to fill up the line. So then I had to keep going. It was dude as a botch. Anyways, how's it going, folks? That was my doctor visit today. How That's was yours? Doozy. Crow can be on the I, don't, I feel like this is gonna be a little bland, but I don't know. I just, for some reason, I feel like we should have like doubled the, like it smells good, but it's just not that yeah. potent, you know? But if it is, hey, we got solutions. It's called wild game seasoning from ducks, okay? You throw that thing on the jerky and it's gonna taste good. So we're gonna go ahead, lay all this out, get one of them fired up. You were reading it takes like nine hours. Yeah. So we might be eating this tomorrow. I don't know, I'll have to stay up late tonight to try to get it figured out. I did not realize it was, it was gonna be that long. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and lay all this in plastic. Mail it. What are you eating? Plus oh, that's a wrapper, wrapper to a bone. Lucy definitely jumped up on the counter and grabbed one. Hey, give me that. Rip. Hey, hey. save the turtles, Millie. Hey. Stop that. Hey, hey. All right, anyways, let's get the jerky on the tray.
All right, how do you work this thing, mister? 140 for six hours? Sure. So that, see, look how much nicer this one is. But I, I need to go look at the price. Hang on, I'll, I'll give you, because that was what, 50 bucks? I want to find a guy's price, because we're going to compare this $50. Bougie. Dollars. You can fit so much more, too. Yeah. But we have an empty tray, and this one was like maxed out. Yeah, true, true. All right, so we're going to look at the difference, my orders. Let's see. Man, you ordered a lot of stuff. Man, I've been just going off them. There it is. Big Black Friday, guy. Yeah. Gotta get the deals, man. This was 160 bucks. And that was 50 So you could buy so... you could buy three of these for the price of that. Yeah. Wow. This was the highest reviewed one. I wanted one that I could rely on, you know? It's like, if we're going to keep making all this jerky. But maybe the, maybe the cheap one's the deal. Like, hey. Hey, hey, no. Bad dog. You should have sick Can't blame her. Yeah, that's that stuff is pretty good. So, anyways, six hours. We're going to let these guys rev. Like, so, we're going to compare the two, see if any of them really are different. Save you guys freaking 100 bucks if you buy this cheap one. But maybe this expensive one does it better. So, with that being said, see you guys in six hours. Or, I guess I'm checking out in three. See you guys in three. Boom, folks. It's the next day. We got these things cooked up. I took them off the dehydrator last night around 9 p.m., which... Ooh, how's that? You went deep. Smells like jerky. That's a deep whiff. Oh, dude, that does smell pretty good. So the let me think about this. I pulled it. Pull off. I will say. I will say. Cause I'm trying to compare it. Right. There, one's fifty dollars. The expensive dehydrator. Yeah. The jerky stuck like crazy to the trays. But the one's plastic. The cheap one. And like I could literally just take it and wipe it all off. And I was peeling like little bits and like tearing apart pieces with the expensive one i'm sure you could spray it you know yeah, hit it with metal versus plastic. but it's another step yeah. you got to do okay so i'm pretty sure that one is the mm -hmm. expensive mesquite expensive uh dehydrator though. yes i'm pretty sure it was the bigger strips we put yeah, on there the bigger strips. so we're gonna go let's go i'll go ahead and compare the two so i mean that it looks like beef jerky right there. This one's got a little bit more duck. I think the goose is towards the bottom. But see how much softer this one is? This one's not. It's like it, it, it got the duck is thicker than the goose. So when I took one at the same time, the goose is like dry. The duck isn't quite as dry. I don't see. We didn't put any giant pieces. See, like even this. They're the same thing, but see, look how look how more so this, flimsy this, this is, is. I think this is duck too. Uh, look, or do you think that's maybe, just a little strip of goose? It's a little thicker, right? It there. might be. But, but look at the yeah. difference here. That to this. But this is from the plastic dehydrator. This was from the other one. These are both fat pieces. Same thing with this. This is one of these deals versus that. This is a lot harder. So I would say maybe the expensive one dehydrated quicker. Like these are drier. Yeah. This bag is drier than this bag. For sure. But taking the jerky off from this one to this one is totally like I was literally just like peeling corners and rip. It, it sucked. It literally probably took, I bet it took eight minutes with the expensive one and the cheap one. I probably had it done in 30 seconds. Like literally just wiped it off, threw it in there, wiped it off, threw it in there. So moment of truth. This is also the curl here, which the curl actually turned out pretty similar on both. Actually, I can see, I can just tell by the feel of it, which one was which. This one's dry and this one's more moist. But so this is the cheap right here. See, that's I kind of like the jerky like really? that. Like it's a little yeah. softer, you know. Which one are you trying? This one, the expensive, which okay. is mesquite. Mm -hmm. So you have a hickory. Yeah. Okay. I really like that. It's moist. See, this is dry. Look at that. That's dry beef jerky. See, which, mine, mine was, mine was all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not this bag. It was really not dry too hot. No, it's not. Try it. Here, try this. See, tell me if you like the dry or the more moist. It's a little tougher, but I'm leaning towards the dry a little bit. I think a little, a little more dry. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's really that hard. No, it just tastes, this. This the is more like and everything. This better. is more like beef jerky. This one is a little bit softer. Like it's so the the cheaper one didn't dehydrate as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of. I would say this is our best beef jerky though. Would you agree with it? Yeah. Or mm -hmm. goose and duck jerky mm -hmm. better than the on slicer. The, grill. the slicer was consistent. See, I don't like. Tell me, is that raw or is that just me? It's kind of raw. It's, it's not, not very good. I don't like you. It tastes like I'm eating like a duck breast. Yeah. There's a couple pieces that aren't. See, that one's not that bad. This is real jerky. Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. It's dry. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Pull Jack, you want this? Sure. Which was this goose or duck? That'd be the old pride goose, I'm guessing. Well, that's pretty good. See, that's more like normal beef jerky. Yeah. So, although the grates on the expensive one, but that one did a better job. Now, if. I think Millie wants some. Millie. Give me a minute. Now, if we left it longer on the on the cheaper one, you probably would have the same result, I assume. You know, I wanted to come up at the same time to compare. Yeah. So the expense, I wouldn't, but I wouldn't. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't buy the hundred fifty dollars one. I don't think. Just leave it on longer. Yeah. I mean, time is money, but like literally taking it off the grate sucked. I will say that, like, it was a total pain. So maybe next time we do it, we'll go head to head again, but take out the jerky on the expensive one at five hours and maybe leave this one for six or seven yeah. just because it's it's not bad but it just has a little bit of like a i just say oh, that's raw yeah no i'm stopping eating that one that's definitely that raw. bag needs to be back in there like medium rare jerky yeah i don't like that 
they don't taste bad. I mean, it just, yeah, it's kind of raw. What do you think? A little piece of crow? Oh, really? Give that a try, guys. All right, is that you going for crow? Yep. That's tough. Oh, mine's chewy. I don't think it tastes bad, though. A lot oh, of seasoning on mine. Like you're eating rubber, man. Yeah. Really? Mine wasn't that bad. Mine's pretty hard. I'm still chewing. Really? It doesn't taste bad. I did season it pretty well. I was going to say, it's season season. I need to, give me some of this Mountain Dew. Oh, My mouth's on fire. Is this what you had? Yeah, that's the one I had. All right, here's, I, a, here's a bigger piece. I thought it tasted good. It's just very tough. Ooh. I, yeah, that's rubber. But it does, the seasonings on that one is fine, yeah. right? It mm -hmm. wasn't too much. Mm -mm. But yeah. It's a tough bird. I don't think many people eat crow. It don't taste bad, but it just, yeah. I think jerky's the right way to eat it if you're yeah, gonna eat it. Yeah, if you're gonna eat it. I want more of this. Yeah, that, that bag is, needs to be put what, back did you, on. Did you have tried that? Did you try this one? Uh, no. You want medium rare? Sure. If it's, oh, thin, if it's very, thin, you'll be all right. It is a lot more flimsy. Yeah. That one probably wasn't too bad. Yeah. Ooh. Not good? Uh-uh. Really? Flavor's good. Still quacking. It's pretty close. It just has yeah. like a, it has like a, a mushy. Like it's just not dry. Yeah, it's, I don't it's know. too, mo it's too moist. Yeah, I think. I think it's too moist. It's kind of like a wet sock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. slimy. Mm -hmm. This. Okay. Do you think if you threw it back on? I don't think it'd hurt. We, well, that's what we'll do. Okay. Not in today's episode, just for the sake, so we can consume this. But this, this goose jerky right here. Finn, come here, Finn. Everybody misses you, Finn. Come here. No, oh, my goodness. There you go, pal. You like that? Goose sugar is where it's at. That one pretty good? Mm-hmm. I would say expensive dehydrator did better, but sucked to get off. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on and see if that works. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The crow. What? What is wrong with you? You want more? The crow was not bad. A little bit on the tougher side of things. I mean it's oh you know, rip out a molar. It don't taste that bad though. In case you guys are curious what crow tastes like. It tastes pretty much like anything else. But Goose, I would say it's better than duck. Yes. Expensive dehydrator did better, but sucked to get it off for the time. I want to, I'm gonna put this back on the crappy dehydrator, the $50 one, and see if we can get it to dehydrate enough. Um, but I would say if you were gonna crown a winner, I would have to say the expensive one. I mean, I think it did better, but how's that one taste? This one's kind of hard. It's a big piece. That's a big daddy. Too thin, you think? Yeah, I think it's too thin, so it just got too hard. Too thin. Mm -hmm. Quarter inch. We sliced it too thin, right. and I don't think we cooked it too long. We sliced it close. Would you just give me a minute? I'm trying to outro this video, guy. Okay. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We're gonna give the goose the victory on between the duck, crow, and goose. We're gonna give the expensive dehydrator the dub because it got it done faster. But I will say, if it was up to me, I would just buy the $50 one and leave it on for a couple more hours. I think that's your better bet. You could literally get three of those things for the price of the one. I would say go with the cheap one. It didn't do too bad on the first round. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys want any ducks gear, it'll be linked down in the description down below. If you guys wanna go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.